Hi everyone, this is Melina from Melly's Book Reviews and this is my first book review video. So, <laughs> sorry that's Taffy. So in the beginning, I, did, I just decided that, okay let's start with the newbie tag since many people on Instagram said that would be the best idea to do. So we're gonna start with that. I've got my questions written down here. They are just basic 10 questions that I found on the internet and after this, I'm going to show you a bit of book mail that I received today. It's just a few books, not a lot. So let's get to it. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? Two reasons. First, I love books and I have a bookstagram account. If you're not already following me, it's at Mary's Book Reviews. I'll link it down below. And I decided that let's move on from Instagram to YouTube since I get to talk about a lot more things rather than just writing reviews or posting photos and secondly it's to help me increase my confidence and next question is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube i can bring reviews that's for sure i can bring a cute cat named taffy who is right here and let's see let's see how this thing goes so the next question is, what are you most excited about for Booktube? I'm just excited to see what I can do with it. I mean, I achieved so much on Bookstagram that I didn't expect to. Shameless plug, I know. But yeah, now let's see what Booktube has in store for me. So the next question is, why do you love reading? I just love reading because it takes me to another place. You know, it's like with everybody feels the same way like when you when you read a fantasy novel when you read any sort of book you just get transported to a whole different world you forget your problems you forget every you just forget about life in general and with what's happening now in the current situation reading just helps and make everything better it's it's just an escape from reality which i really love next question is what would you ask your favorite booktubers so my favorite booktubers are currently not like the big booktubers but people who are, have been on bookstagram and then deviate, uh, deviated they moved towards or expanded on booktube that's married to books and book xp and bookish bomb how was it like making your first video because this is absolutely terrifying so the next question is what challenges do you think starting a booktube challenge will be hard to overcome number one is my anxiety like really and number two is finding time when I'm not reading because I spend a lot of time reading. P.S. I finished 500 books this year and it's only the end of September. I still have three more months to go and hopefully I get finish on 150 by then. Again, another shameless plug. I'm sorry. And yeah, I'll ho I'll hopefully everything works out fine and I really hope this does well. Okay, we've got like three questions more. So the next one is, when did you start reading? I started reading before I was born. And that's my mother's fault. And it's because of her. You've seen all this drama happen in my life with me buying a lot of books. So I always tell her that I spend a lot of money on books because it's your fault. You, you inculcated the love of reading in me. And now you have to deal with the consequences of me spending a lot of money and a lot of time reading. So yeah, that's how I started reading. So, but yeah, basically I started reading when I was, since I, since I could, since I could read. And I think compared to everyone else, I used to finish books quite fast and I never realized it. Like I could only buy like a book a month or, or two books a month when I was younger. So I used to read books again and again, and I used to get so bored reading the same books again and again. But now that I have a lot of lot more books compared to when I was younger, I have no time to finish reading all the books, which is really weird. Yeah, hopefully I finish all the books that I have. It's a problem that everybody faces. Don't judge me. Next question is where where do you read? I read in the room I'm sitting in right now. That's my bedroom. I've got like a little reading nook on my bed, which is like really comfy with all my cushions and stuff. But I'm not going to show it to you today because my room's a mess and I'm going to clean it up soon, hopefully. And I, I can give you a room tour. And I am going to do a bookshelf, a bookshelves tour because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bookshelves. 
I think I'm plus books scattered everywhere else around the house, which I will be showing you soon enough. And the last question, what kind of books do you love to read? I love fantasy. I love fantasy. I love Sarah J. Maas. I love anything to do with fantasy. I am a big a, a Court of Thorns and Roses fan. Everybody knows that. I love it. I think that that series, which I I finished all the four books. Yeah, there were four books at the time. I finished all four books in like three days, and that was during my university time while I was doing MBA. I just couldn't put it down, and I think from that moment onwards was my my love for fantasy began because up till that point I was a big fan of like YA romance, and I read all young adult romance. But ever since last year. And ever since meeting Sarah J. Mass's book, I hope I'm saying her name right. Uh, ever, ever, ever since I started reading her books, including even like Throne of Glass, I've been a huge fantasy nerd. So yeah, so that's my 10 questions from the newbie book tag. And like I promised, I've got a little bit of book mail. So if you want to see that, stick around. So the first book that I have is Coming Clean by A. Rainey Gibbs, which is a review copy that I have received today. And it's, I think, come all the way from, I think she's from America. She's come, it's come all the way from abroad. So I'm really looking forward to reading this, ending my affair with alcohol and learning to be my true self. Review out soon. Next, we have Of Curses and Kisses by Sandhya Menon. I already listened to the audiobook no not the audiobook i read the ebook i bought the ebook a long time ago when it came out and i read and reviewed this already i bought the ebook because i got the chance to interview sandhya menon so i wanted to be prepared i was like i might as well read this book buy the book on like on amazon kindle and interview her rather than going in blind and not knowing anything about her book However, I also wanted to get the paperback because I love the book so much after reading it. So I got the paperback. And the third and last book that I received is the second book in the Serpent and Dove trilogy. I'm hoping. And that's called Blood and Honey. Okay, I didn't really, I've, I've read the, I've heard the audiobook. I didn't like it a lot. Okay. It's not my favorite part of the trilogy so far. However, I didn't want to have an incomplete series because I already had the Serpent and Dove paperback and it was killing me that just because I didn't like the book, I'm not going to have a copy of the book and I'd rather just buy the book and keep it so I have the complete set with me. So that's it for my first video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon. This is goodbye from me and Chappie. Bye-bye. <laughs>